I guess, kind of list some of your practices because you are in your word. And I think that's one thing people are really hesitant when it comes to therapy and counseling. A lot of Christians go to very secular um, councils, but you are a woman of the word. <laughs> Even our first conversation when you were praying, I was like, we going to get along. And so I think that reservation comes from um, the secular world. So I guess, how do you approach things? Because, you know, we have to be um, in the world. The Lord says like, hey, I wouldn't have you out of the world because that's the, of no use. So Christians have to be able to navigate the marketplace. So um, how are you engaging that? Because you don't have all Christian clients. You have um, secular clients and you have um, non-believers as clients. So I know this is a lot of questions, but I guess restore you, um, how you navigate um, the secular and the sacred and whatever um, creative practices that you have with your services. Okay. Well, I think one thing when you talk about how do you manage that balance between uh, the spiritual life and then the physical, right? And there's actually a book, it's called Soul Physicians. I remember mm. a, uh, quite a few years ago, I actually went to a training on soul physicians soul uh, physicians. And one thing that they talked about is that, yeah, you have to have, as a therapist, you have one foot in the spiritual and one foot in the, in the natural. And uh, the idea is you meet the person where they are. So there are people who come to me who have no clue that I'm a Christian or, you know, don't know. There are some that select me because I am a Christian um, and they come in. But even though they come into me, whether they're Christian or not, I meet them where they are. So it doesn't mean that I'm bombarding you with scripture and that's what we're digging into. I'm, you know, think about the root. Usually the root is not related to scripture. So when we were getting deep into what the issue is, where they are and whether or not um, they can do that. So I like to look at it as if, you know, I have different tools and one of the tools mm. that I use is scripture. Now, when I use that tool, who I use it with, it just depends on where we are in the process and is that what's, what's needed in that moment. So that's usually how I like to sort of balance it. And, you know, I, I believe like as a believer, I take the word with me wherever I go. And so whether I'm in a counseling session with someone who's maybe not a believer, I still take that in there with me. And that alone, just having, you know, that within me, it helps to guide me um, throughout the therapy process to, to help the whoever the client is to be able to navigate what they're going through. Um, and really, that was one of the questions you asked was about, you know, where did Restore You Counseling and Consultation come from? And that is really, you know, one of my visions was to be able to help other people to get restored. Um, I personally have gone through my own restoration process, and I'm still continuing to go through that process. And so um, as I learn and as I grow, I want to be able to share that knowledge, that insight with other people. So, so Lord, um, we just um, pray and prophesy everything that was spoken today uh, will be on good ground. Uh, we come against um, patterns of um, cycles, um, generational curses, um, anything of the former self that is not our identity in Christ. We pray by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus that you restore every listener by your Holy Spirit to the former glory that we are returning to. It is by, not by strength, not by might, but by the Spirit of God that Jesus does these things. That we will be full, we'll have shalom, and we'll have um, perfect restoration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Chan, go ahead and pray, God. I know you got that heat. <laughs> My gosh. Um... <laughs> Uh, dear Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to get together, oh God, to give you praise and glory and show, Father, how you would like for us to function and operate, Lord God. So we just pray in the name of Jesus that you, Father, will allow anyone who is under the sound of my voice, Lord God, God, that you, oh Father, will speak to them specifically, Lord God, that you will reveal the hidden things within, oh Father, that needs to be revealed so that they can draw closer and nearer to you, oh Father. So we pray anything that blocks the hearing, anything that blocks the sight of your people, let it be removed 
moved, oh Father, and give them divine strategy, whether it's through a therapist, whether it's through a pastor, whether it's through a church, oh God, give them divine strategy to be able to remove every barrier that comes between them and you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Perfect. Thanks for watching, and we are out. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, thanks for watching The Blessing Report at theblessingreport.com. And if you would like to partner with us as we continue to make good family-friendly Christian content, make sure to become a subscriber at theblessingreport.com where you can be a monthly or a weekly donator, or you can make a one-time donation in the description box below or the link in our bio. And if you purchase from theblessingreport.com slash shop, a portion of your proceeds goes to help fund our productions when you buy from our Christian clothing. And if you'd like to partner with us as we move towards our feature-led film and our TV series, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications where we have new videos and podcasts every Wednesday and Sunday, so come back next week. Thank you so much for your love and support. Make sure to check out a playlist, subscribe, and watch another video. God bless.